Hey guys, got a pattern for you today. It's called the Moorish Iron Sally. It's a Ken Moorish pattern. He's got some really good patterns out there, and uh, I've done the anatomy pattern for you guys already, and I uh, wanted to share this one with you. This is a great little pattern for summertime stones, the uh, yellow Sally stones, the uh, even covers the golden stones really well. So when you fish it, you know, don't think that they're taking it just for a yellow Sally. You can fish it as a golden stone uh, imitation anytime you want. So, starting off with a uh, size 14 hook here, a 2x long hook, a TMC 5262, and a tungsten bead in 2.7 millimeter size. I'm not going to put any weight on the shank. I'm just going to start my thread and take it back to the bend of the hook. And then I'm going to start with some goose biots. And I'm using gold colored biots here. You can use uh, yellow or whatever color that you have available to you. You just want to match it somewhat to the uh, to the overall pattern or theme of this. So I'm going to place those on either side and put a couple wraps down on them just to get them splayed out a little bit. Notice I put them in opposite pointing away from each other so I'm just going to wrap that I'm going to wrap the butt ends all the way down. That way I don't have to cut them off and make a lump there. Once I do that, i got a smooth body there. I'm going to untwist my thread. I'm using 8 odd on this. You can use 6. Or you can use 8 if you, if you like. Brassy size gold wire. This is going to be the body. And I'm just going to tie that on and on my... Uh, on the far side, untwist my thread a little just to make sure it's not corded up. And I really love the MFC thread. It's what I use most of the time. Lays flat. Really nice thread. So I got that tied in. Now the uh, the original pattern calls for crystal flash for the kind of the back strap of this and the legs. I still use crystal flash for the legs. But what I've done is I experimented with a few different options, and I do this on a Copper John as well, but I found that if you use a piece of uh, scud back, one eighth inch or so, this works really well. So this is just scud back. Now, notice how thick it is, eighth inch, pull it, gets really skinny. I've found that if you tie this in and use it the way that you need it to be used, it works just great. You don't have to have the crystal flash uh, strands, several strands. Normally you use you know, 8 to 10 strands for this. You don't have to tie in all those strands. Tie that in, stretch it, and then uh, we'll wrap, start wrapping. So get our gold wire. We're going to go wrap there. Four wraps. And then get your thin skin or your scud back, I'm sorry, pull and really stretch it. Lay that next wrap there and then relax and drop it. Get it out of the way and you just repeat this process all the way through. So lay them side by side like you were tying a copper john. Make sure there's no gaps in there. And then every four wraps pull you can really stretch this material. Make a wrap. And then do four more. But I found that this works really well. Gives kind of a broader coverage on the back side so you have the top half covered completely rather than just a small little strip if you did crystal flash or any other type of material. Stretch again and then just get it out of the way. Oops. And this helps to, uh, you know, anytime you're messing with something like this it's always kinda can be painful but it just helps to get all those, keep it in one strand. So now I've come up to the thorax region. Just gonna wrap that off, wrap that down cut it off, pull this, wrap it down a few times and then stretch and cut. 
So now what you want to do, once you got the body form, you can see on the back end how that covers it really nice. Okay. The crystal flash will do it as well. Like I said, this is just another option for you to see and to uh, just to show you one way of approaching it. Now, for the wing case, I've got a piece of turkey, and I've I've taken it off the uh, this piece here. What I've done is I put a little fleximin on there. You can try it without, but they tend to split, and that's why I put the Dave's fleximin. So it's just something that um, you know you can find at your shop works great for a lot of different things and I just put a little bit on there let it dry and then I'm just gonna tie this in and I've done it about the little smaller than hook gap and lay this down and tie it in come back your thorax region and everything is not that long now this is where I go back to the black crystal flash legs I'm gonna tie in a strand on my side these are going to be kind of the rear legs, and then I'm going to kick this over on top and then to my side. Tie it down, so that way I have two strands, one on each side, shooting backwards. And then for the dubbing, the regular one calls for the Awesome Possum, Golden Stone. Works great, but if you look at the coloration on the bag that I have, it's quite... Uh, it's pretty yellow and what I'm using is this uh, nature spirit snowshoe rabbit dubbing and golden stonefly really a nice uh, mixture of, of uh, snowshoe and and hare's ear in the right coloration it's a little duller than it's not so bright as the other awesome possum and I like that so dub that on dubs really nice make a little bit of uh, area for that thorax we're going to fold over that wing case here build a little bit of that thorax up and we're going to kick and fold this over so all I did was lay my blade on there to put a little bend in it you can you can do it like that if you need to just to fold it over and then that's our bottom wing case there so it's just a little dark wing case and then we're going to wrap that we're going to come in with another set of legs on this side on the near side or far side I'm sorry X style and same thing on my near side it's time in there and then we're going to go back to our dubbing we didn't cut this piece here, leave that piece. We're going to dub that. We're just going to fill that in. Make sure your dubbing is not too thick or clumpy. Thin it out a little bit and get that there. And then we're going to bring this piece back. We're going to fold over. Now, this is where it gets tricky because if you don't have a lot of space, your legs can kick back. You know, just work with it and see what works the best and see if you can get those legs to lay out the way you want them to. So, I'm going to put some more dubbing on and then I'm going to kick this back and I'm going to dub right through here behind that bead. And I'm going to do it somewhat with loose wraps. It's not going to be really tight. The tighter I pull, the legs are going to kick back so I want to loosen them up just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this just a little bit shorter than the previous wing case so you can see it's kind of sticking up and then I'm just going to go ahead and sneak right here and throw in my whip finish. Pull those legs out of the way and I got a little space behind the bead there. I'm going to throw in a second whip finish just because of the added durability. Snug that, cut. Now we just need to adjust the legs. I'm going to grab this front set here, cut, cut, and cut. And then the back legs I'm going to cut beyond the body and see how that looks as far as everything matching up. You just want a little bit of movement on those legs and a little bit 
of representation of those legs in the water. This one will work just fine. So there it is, just the completed Iron Sally as far as the way I tie it and fish it. Just a little dark on top. You can sort of see everything being dark. Dark legs, dark top, and then on the body or the bottom of the body you got the lighter coloration. And that's what you're looking for. Um, like to fish these summertime when the Sallies are out. Like to fish them early when the Golden Stones are out. Again, they don't take them just uh, as yellow Sallies. They take them as uh, a stonefly or something that looks good in the water. So the only other thing that I did not add on the original that the original does is they use a goose set of goose biots on the front for an antenna. I didn't put those in there. You can if you want. Just one more step that you know you have to do. So it's up to you. But this is this is the way I tie it. It's pretty close to the original. The only big thing I changed was that that uh, scud back that I used for the uh, back strap. I think it works a little bit better and easier. And again, I use that on the uh, Copper John instead of the Thin Skin. It stretches and it works just a little bit better for me. So give it a shot. Hope you like this one. And um, hope you tie some up, fish them, and let me know how that worked for you. So uh, thank you, Ken Morris, for all your patterns that you've come out with. This is size 14. I tie them in 16s. And you can get down to 18s, but it gets pretty tough. So, uh, you know, 14, 16. I like tungsten beads. Get them down deep where they uh, should be. So. Thank you.